What's going on fish nerds? I am here at my buddy Gary's house. Ran into him at Gerber's uh, when I was doing the fish store tour there. And he invited me to come here and check out his fish room. So we're here, he's gonna take us through and show us all his tanks. Let's get to it. All right, so right as soon as we come in the door, we've got this tank right here. Tell us about this, Gary. This so. is uh, what I call my miracle tank. Um, it's rainbows. I picked up all these rainbows at mostly uh, Gerber's, and I was told they were Iranian reds. But as you see, that is not the case. Yeah. But I still like them, and they're pretty mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, there's um, a cool little mix of, of rainbows in here. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of plecos in there. I'm, Probably don't. None of them want to come out. You got a bristle nose right here. Yep. And, uh, and this is on a matten filter, but it's not powered by mm -hmm. air. It is actually powered by uh, a little small pump. You can go around the back and see it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's and, see it back uh, in there. Yeah, I kind of like it better than mm -hmm. air because you, know, you can get a better you, flow. Yeah, you got a real good flow. The only reason I have the, uh, the one. The sponge filter in the back is just keep extra cycle media on it, mm -hmm. and then the the uh, hang on the back is just there because it has a UV sterilizer, and it's really good good place for that mm -hmm. uh, pothos. Yeah, so. you got to have some pothos in a fish room. Oh, yeah. So yeah. why do you why do you call this the miracle tank? Anytime a plant has a problem in here, I'll stick it in that gravel, and, and within a week it's healthy again. Huh. Um, so, so I actually had some swords that were eaten all the way back. Wow. Uh, by the scat and put them in here. And actually didn't see what's right there. The sword mm -hmm. itself is coming back. So it's kind of your plant hospital going yeah. on in here. I don't know why, but hey, mm -hmm. I'll go with what what's there. I like it though, man. It looks good. Yeah. All right, so what we got going on down here? Down here was a rescue from uh, a local pit uh, fish store. He uh, had a female holding, and I was asking to separate it, and they said they had no place to put it, so I just bought her. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I brought her home. And so you brought her home with a mouthful, and she spit for you, huh? Yeah, she did. So moving over here, what we got going on over here? This is my wife's puffer tanks, and she gets mad because I have to move them all the time. But they are also my uh, house cleaners. Um, Every now and again, we'll have an explosion of the rams, snails. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we get just tons of them. And these guys don't mind a bit to take care of that for oh, you, do no, they? Oh, they'll clean them out. You know, it was uh, the Miracle Tank actually had an overgrowth. Of, I mean, yeah, we actually had leeches in there. Oh wow. We put the guy. I've guy dealt with that before. <laughs> put those guys in there. Leeches were gone. Imagine that. <laughs> Guys yeah. Awesome. I love them. Um, and what the little guppies are are just ones that uh, uh, were that was the guppy tank before and missing. Mm -hmm. I didn't know why. Gotcha. They were just there. Some little fry that were too small to see or what get found. But yeah, we've got plenty of plants in there. Mm -hmm. This is the shrimp tank. Oh yeah, this is my shrimp tank. This is where I'm gonna be adding a bunch of your shrimp in. Awesome. Yeah, I got a bristle nose in there also. And that red plant, I don't know what it was, but it's just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. That's uh, Ludwigia. Oh, okay. Yep. So I've kept that before. Yep, yeah, the moss that's growing there. Mm -hmm. My 17-year-old uh, thought because it was a moss ball, he could feed it to a scat, so he pulled it apart, and so I'm trying to make it a carpet now. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> this is my discus thing, and for the life of me, there's never been a time that the discus I've hit never <laughs> until I showed ever. up. They're two beautiful orchids. Yeah. Well, they know better than to talk to strangers, I guess. You want to go get some shrimp? Try to coax them out yeah. for you. They were out when I first came in, but I guess I spooked them. Mm. They got some good color on them, though. Yeah. Like I said, I got those at top shelf. I didn't know that existed mm. until your channel and really? over there. Oh my God. So, so are these the discus that were in the video that I did at top yeah. shelf? Nice. Those are the two. So the, this is the second time this fish has been on my on my channel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you got you can't miss the archer fish. 
Now you were telling me this guy will spit at you from across the room. Oh yeah, if you're sitting out here, um, and you right at, during cleans when we have the tops off, and it gets close to feeding time, he'll spit, and you're like, where'd the water come from? And it's from him. That's awesome. So here's here's the the newest system in your room, right? Ah uh, yes, yes, yes. I got it from a, a fish store who was closing down their marine section, mm -hmm. and. Uh, they give it to me for a price I couldn't say no to. And right now what we have in here are the fancy gold fish where a, uh, what, you know, like, you know, bought it, you know, an impulse buy. Yeah. And then we got a... Nobody ever does that, right? Right, nobody. <laughs> Not in the fish hobby, ever. And then we got a green pair of angels. Mm-hmm. And uh, they just lay eggs over on the other side over there. Yeah, so you got those on the uh, the bubbler, the Anubius leaf there. And so I thought this was pretty cool. Instead of just using like an air pump or something like that, you've actually got a regular old like medical oxygen tank hooked up to your airline for your bubbler to to keep the yeah, keep the, the oxygen fun. flow around those eggs. Yeah, to keep that fungus off. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. So. so that's some highly oxygenated water right there. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. And the 90 you just saw is connected to the same system. The same gotcha. Song. So this this sump here, you said it's how many gallons? Uh, 320. 320, 320 gallon sump. And so it's doing this whole rack, all these goldfish, these tanks down here, and you said it's running this tank. This 90 and that 90. And this one. Wow. Without a problem. Goldfish, we uh, keep little ponds outside, like in half barrels mm -hmm. during the summer. And, uh, well, it's getting cold now, so I bring them in and we will raise them to, you know, pond size by the beginning of spring. So, yep. you know, they'll be pond size. So I noticed most of the, well not most, but a lot of the tanks have the forks in there. I asked you about it. You said those are your DIY Pleco feeders, right? Yes, they yeah. are. So yes. And we're experimenting with DIY uh, Pleco caves using PVC. I think mm -hmm. what we're going to have to do is spray paint the inside. Yeah. I like how you've got them partially buried down into the gravel. Yeah. Makes it pretty cool. Kind of like a little burrowed out cave instead of just laying out on top. It's pretty cool. Now that is... Of course, the teenager's tank. Now, see, I don't see anything on this that would make me think it's a teenager's tank. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I mean, there, maybe a little teen angst is going on in this tank, but. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, you got all the skulls going on in here. You got the, the lava rock. You got the big old African scat hanging out in here in the Colosseum. Yeah, we're trying to grow him to world record size for fresh water scat. Oh, wow. It's 16 inches. He's at, uh, I think he's at 10 now. Mm -hmm. And uh, we finally found a plant in those hyacinths that he won't eat. You put anything huh. else in there, plant related, he'll eat. Really? Yeah. And you got a bunch of the hyacinths in there. You, So you were telling me earlier that you keep these in the ponds outside and now you're just... Yes, you know, it's an experiment. Overwintering them in here. Yeah, it's an experiment, mm -hmm. see if we can overwinter them in here. Yep. So, and it plus it makes the skull tank creepy. <laughs> yeah, it darkens it up. You got the gold severum in there. Yeah, we got two gold and three green, the scat, and a royal clown knife is in there too. He is very impressive. Yeah. Uh, down there is my uh, 68 gallon. I love this tank. It actually has a yeah. hood, but as all aquarium people would say, the hoods are just the downfall. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. But it's this, cool how the the two sides are connected through these little tubes. Tubes, yeah. It's cool. Yeah. It's cool watching them go from one side to the other. And you know, oh, the lighting on that is Lowe's was having a sale on hundred counter lighting, and I'm like, huh. oh, let's just try it. And it works, huh? <laughs> this is just like a, a mixed kind of semi-aggressive community. You got the yeah, rainbow got sharks and the barbs. Yeah, the rosy barbs. 
the giant Daniels. I think the yeah. giant Daniels in there are like my favorite fish, and I don't know why. Yeah. That turquoise and peach is just, mm -hmm. I don't know. You just know? the subtlety, I guess, maybe. You got your Siamese algae eaters in there. And of course, you got the electric blue Akara. Yes. Can't miss this guy. Whoop. Camera spooked him. <laughs> I love the electric blue Akaras. So you got your mixed African tank going on over here? Yeah. And uh, recently, believe it or not, that we, we had double the amount in there two a week and a half ago mm -hmm. and we uh my young one did the nitrate test and it was almost solid maroon oh wow. so i had to take half of them out it was like okay bye guys you know so now we got another planet tank down here below it yes so you were saying this is your your breeding for profit tank you got going on in here. Yes, it is. I'm actually, With, of course, the Star Wars theme. <laughs> yeah, you know, as soon as I can find the manufacturer that has the uh, TIE Fighter and the uh, X Wing, I'll get them in there too. But That's cool. My first answer is throw every type of light barrier you can in there and see what you come up with. And, mm -hmm. and doing it in there. I don't know if you can. So just kind of a, an experiment to see what, what kind of mutt you end up with, right? Exactly. I'm hoping I get some color out of it. Um, I don't know if you got a bunch of different emblers and a bunch of different guppies. So here we got the centerpiece, huh? Um, of the room, maybe? I just call it the biggest one because, honestly, there there is not one fish in this tank that is mine. Really? Not one. <laughs> not one. Um, maybe, maybe the, uh, the uh, red terror there, but... I don't know. Oh, uh, red yellow, excuse me. Mm. But yeah, it's just the biggest tank. We had to have a tank that could compete with the flower horn. Yeah. So we had to find some fish. Oh, and that giant pleco in there is my wife's yeah, you got favorite. The, the big old common pleco. I can't get rid of it. So. That's a big old pleco. And the black stripe there, he's really awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's coloring for you. Nice. You got the Matoro sting right down there. Yep. Where'd you pick him up? I got him at uh, Gerber's. Gotcha. And I've noticed the, uh, the flower horn and the red devil have been hanging out down here in this little pit and it looks like they've dug out down there oh yes yeah they, they, ju have, they just now were pushing this pleco out of the way telling him to back off try to try to mate but he's got to be one of the best looking flowers i've seen oh he's yeah. pretty i'm not a i'm not a connoisseur on flower right. horns so i don't <laughs> i don't know how to grade him but i think he's a pretty fish All right, guys, special thanks to Gary for letting me come, inviting me out to film his fish room. Link to his channel will be in the description below. Let me know what your favorite part of his fish room was. And if you like these kinds of videos, fish room tours, fish store tours, general fish nerd stuff, make sure you subscribe because I'm putting out new videos every single week. Thanks for watching, guys. You're awesome. God bless you, fish nerds. I'll see you next time.